Okay, what we're going to look at here is cleaning up the background. Now, our photographer, Vicky, has taken this photograph here, and what she's done is she's used the clone tool, the stamp tool, on the background to try and clean it up. Now, some of you may be able to see on the monitor, on your monitors in the background, the um, that there are some blotches and some patches in here. Um, some may not, it depends on your calibration. It also depends on what YouTube's done to the upload of this video. But what we're going to do is, um, what I'm going to do is show a simple way of being able to see where these flaws are in the background and very quickly clean them up. Um, works much easier when we're on a black or a white background. But essentially what we're going to do here is create a curves layer. So we're going to take the curves layer and pop it over the top. We are going to set that curve as a negative. And you may already now be able to see that there are some blotches and some grey patches in the background now because we've effectively we've inverted the background. Um, and that's something that you can do if you're in elements as well. You can take this and invert it. So you can see where there may be some grey patches. But to help this pop even more and to make it easier, to, uh, even easier for us to see, I'm going to change the blending mode to soft light. You can see it there. In fact, if we try hard light, it's not, well, it, it probably gives you similar results, but personally, I'm going to prefer you working in the soft light because it's a black background on this image, and that's what I want to be able to see. So to fix this, first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background, just so that I have the background available to me, um, and we're not touching the original image. I'm going to come over here, make sure I've got the burn tool selected. Um, exposure, 15, 20%, there we go. And then all that I'm gonna do is make sure that I've got the right layer selected, right there, the background copy, and I'm going to burn away at the background. I'm going to burn these images, these, uh, sorry, these gray areas. I should have said that I've got this set to shadows. If I'd got it set to midtones, it would, it would burn away a lot quicker, but I want, this to be very gentle because I'm going to be working a little bit close to the edge of the young girl here and I don't want to burn any of her away. I don't want to start affecting the edge of her dress or anything like that. And if I were in mid-tones then I would be getting a little bit too close to the dress and also her hair. I don't want to be damaging that or burning that down at all. So here we are, very quickly you can see these grey patches are going to start are starting to disappear. This big grey bit in the corner here, that's disappearing. But it's going away very gently. I can rush along the edge of this dress here and tidy that up without affecting the dress itself and without burning into her hair. Again, we'll do the same down here, down along this edge. It's nice, it's clean and it's quick. And there we are. I think that's pretty much it. There's a bit of a grey mess up there. There we go. If we toggle the background on and off, uh, so the background copy on and off, you'll see all of those um, grey bits appear and then disappear. As you're burning your way through it, it, sometimes it feels like you're not actually making much of a difference until you come back and toggle this layer on and off. So there you go. You can see what's going on there. I had touched a little bit in her hair there, but I don't think we've done anything that we could consider damage. If this were a larger image, it would be uh, much easier as well. So if we pop back to our curves layer, um, turn it back to normal, you'll see that that's nice and white and clean now around the edge there. Um, so we can turn that off. We can delete the curves layer and we just flatten, flatten the image. And that's it, the job is done. That's the background cleaned up. Any other retouching or adjustment now can be carried on and we don't affect the background at all. It's nice and it's clean.